Why hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, today's video and my name is Devin Foxy Remastered and guess what video I'm reacting today? Dun 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 The Mercs argue about Spongebob. Well, pretty much again I'll change about the about on my um, own title exactly, but who cares? So, we're going to get right into this reaction, and um, <clears throat> before we are start, we're going to react to this video, I'm pretty much like, um, you know, just try to speak exactly, you know, just try to like, not swallow the lozenge, I'm just letting it sink, you know, just letting it sink in so that way I can still talk. Alright, so before we even do get to this reaction, I do want to actually let you all guys know exactly is I found an interesting video that I've actually wanted to react to exactly even though it's 15.ai related which I know it's kind of like that kind of related so just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an, an interesting notice exactly to see what you guys might think exactly and I know that yes it's totally gonna be a few amount of swear words which I mean there will be a few times that there was gonna be some swears in this so yeah you guys have been warned and just remember um, most of my videos and most of my channel's videos are never made by kids, no reason by any reason. It's pretty much not made for teens and adults alike to enjoy the content of what I do exactly. Just do reactions, do anything else, and pretty much like anything. So just remember, I'm an awesome guy who just loves to feel free to react to videos. That's just it. And also, hopefully you guys enjoy this reaction, and be sure to give this video a like and comment and subscribe to the bell to be notified, and do not forget to subscribe to the original person, the original creator, support the original video, so that way that you guys will not miss a single video that comes on this channel. Thank you. Anyway, so without it being said, be sure to do all of that, and that will be amazing. Thank you. And also, please be sure to give the guys some support. That would be amazing, so please be sure to do so. And without it being said... Let's react to this, and oh my gosh, I am so gonna like enjoying this reaction. And I can tell by see SpongeBob. Um, I mean, I can tell by Scout liking SpongeBob, and then of course Soldier is um Patrick, and then Engineer is Sandy, and then and then the Spy is Squidward, which I don't know how either that's gonna be possible. I think it was supposed to be Sniper liking Squidward or something, but. We're going to kind of move on, if any, that's going to be a bit of difference, but I don't know. But for right now, let's react to the video and let's see what it really does, because I'm really interested to see what happens in this reaction. So, a fiddly do is a what do you do? Let's react to this in 3, 2, 1, and click, click, hack? Or should I say click, click, clack? Let's go. Dan Foxy Remastered today reacts to the Mercs Argue about spongebob characters or whatever enjoy the reaction oh damn it okay you know what all right here we go now let's try again only someone as retarded as patrick himself would consider him the best character but i guess it would fit that description wouldn't you soldier <laughs> fuck you patrick is the nice best character one. and his simple mindedness enables for comedy and a few times in the nine minutes in the video that Soldier is really gonna smack him that hard, which okay. I'm betting my money for Soldier for that. Like seriously, even though I'm gonna have to say, Soldier is pretty much li likes Patrick. Okay, I can respect the guy who went for the military. I can still always respect the guy who liked it, Patrick. But no, but for real, I still say hell yeah. Even though that Patrick already had a TV show, which I don't blame him again for like season one or two. Which, I mean, 2 is still getting a little bit more interesting, as I still expect, but still getting a little interesting. I mean, again, we have we can get some ups and downs at the point sometimes about Patrick's show, but, I mean, at least I could be a bit decent and a little bit independent, to be fair, on the show, which I don't blame it. I mean, there's some crit some people that could blame it, but I'm still saying, again, I don't blame it technically. You know, I'm just saying is I don't think it sucks. So... Moving on, and it just doesn't matter. Soldier. Fuck you. Patrick is the best character, and his simple mindedness enables for comedy and the occasional plot twist. Plus, he is nearly as dumb as you think. He literally lives under a rock, and his most famous attribute is not knowing anything and being slow to grasp new things. 
Yes, but every character has their flaws. He is one of the funniest characters by far, and that Thank is specifically you. because yes, of his ignorance. Plus, simplicity is beauty, ignorance is bliss. You remember the episode where he became smart, and his happiness faded away. Yeah, that actually was that actually kind of happened, by the way, if anybody doesn't notice. Like, I'm seriously pausing this video for like 32 seconds. Like, Soldier is actually pretty based on that one. He said he was right. Like, bro, my boy Patrick went from pretty much being dumb to smart, which I have to say, he was actually pretty bit of a good episode. Which, you know, I have to say is like, damn, Nickelodeon. I mean, did you guys really have to go through on making that kind of idea? But that idea, I'm going to say, is pretty big genius. Pretty genius. Not going to lie. Pretty genius idea. Like, not going to lie, I think it was pretty bit of a good genius idea where they always have to bring my boy Patrick and say, is like, they say, is like, you know what? Let's just go in a day and see what happens with Patrick being smart, you know, by wasting his happiness again or wasting his happiness down the drain and then became a bit more intelligent and pretty bit smart, which I mean, I don't blame Patrick's um, personalities on a few other daily basis of him being smart or dumb. But seriously, I think Patrick is just badass who makes good talented jokes. Not going to lie. He really made me laugh a few times after when <laughs> the clips of Patrick became a lot more irrelevantly hilarious. Really, it's that funny. Ignorance is bliss. You remember the episode where he became smart. And his happiness faded away as fast as his ignorance. I'm not saying that Patrick is a bad character, but seeing him as the best is simply ridiculous. SpongeBob is literally the protagonist, and he is also the most amusing. The show is named after him, and he gets into far more comedic situations than Patrick. You basic bitch. Of course you would. <laughs> you are such a basic bitch. What's next? You're gonna say your favorite person to play in Mario Kart. You basic bitch. <laughs> Oh, I love the fact when Soldier said that word in that clip. My saying was like, you basic bitch. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny when I heard him said that. <laughs> Bruh, that was like, pretty hilarious. Ah, uh, damn Soldier. Like, damn, going for the voice of the mountaintops by you calling him that. Wow. Damn soldier you really need to get an oscar holy shit of course you would you are such a basic bitch what's next you're gonna say your favorite person to play in mario kart is mario and you Ooh. <laughs> 54 seconds <laughs> like what's next like scout's gonna pick mario that's gonna be mario in mario kart <laughs> <laughs> oh man, a few seconds after when Soldier made me laugh, I'm just about to cry with tears and happiness. <laughs> oh wow, just wow. I just almost have nothing else to say from Soldier, but damn dude, just damn dude. Basic bitch, what's next? You're gonna say your favorite person to play in Mario Kart is Mario, and you call me retarded. Why the fuck are you guys yelling? I was working with oh, Manic to create Manic a dispenser that is inside yeah. of your body and heals you from within. And we can't work on it with you idiots screaming like the little shit stains that y'all are. The little shit stains. <laughs> wow. That had it came from the engineer's mouth, but okay, well, at least I'm not saying it's irrelevant, but Jesus. I mean, it's a little bit of saying is like, hmm, right. Right. We are discussing which resident bikini bottom is the best. This potato thinks it's Spongebob, the most basic bitch answer. <laughs> this doll thinks it's Patrick, literally the most stupid character. You are both no, wrong, and you are both stupid. Clearly the best character is Plankton. What? He is a brilliant Ew. scientist who invents many things. I can respect an innovator like him. Plus, his voice is sexy. Yeah, but he is fucking evil. Not only that, but his so-called intelligence is not enough to grant him business or even steal the secret formula. You mouth-breathing dopes, Plankton has gotten very close many times, and Mr. Krabs is a paranoid and greedy asshole who guards the formula by shoving it up his ass with some shit. And <laughs> oh, no! Seriously, I mean, Medic had a one bit of a good pointer line about 
you know, him trying to reach more closer ways in business to get after Eugene Krabs. Yeah, that is actually kind of not a basic slam in the dunk. A bit of a slam. I mean, I wouldn't say Soldier's not an idiot. I'm still saying I'm siding with Soldier at this time. So, yeah, he's not the idiot. I mean, again, I'm still siding with him anyway. Like, Jesus, medic. Did you just have to say that? Like, he said it was like YouTube breathing idiots. Like, damn, man. I mean, the good question is I would ask myself and say is that, oh, yeah, I remember the rivalry between Mr. Krabs and Plankton so many times in many shitty ways and every other time. Like, okay, Mr. Krabs could be a greedy asshole, which I can agree so many times after, again, he's trying to lie to SpongeBob and most likely Patrick a few times. And then, oh, yeah. Mr. Krabs have lied considerably a lot of times. You know, lots and lots and dozens of times. Not almost saying dozen, dozen. I'm just saying he lied lots of considering times. Against pretty much either side and side. Trust me. If you guys watch some of the episodes of whatever... What I was really meant to say, everybody, is if you guys can check the episodes out between... um. How many times Mr. Krabs was pretty shitty a few times, you know, after when he did all that? Yeah. The best thing you should do is just rewatch what Mr. Krabs even did. Like, oh yeah, there's like a lot of recaps to look into all of that. Trust me. I mean, loads of recaps. Between all characters exactly. Which, I mean, believe me, that's good. But if you don't believe me, just go watch the episodes. I mean, it's not that hard to go. Engineer, surely you can see and appreciate Plankton as an innovator and scientist, unlike these mere simpletons. Plankton may be smart, but it's clear that the most brilliant mind in the Seven Seas is Sandy Cheeks. Unlike hmm. Plankton, Sandy's inventions actually help others and she is even commissioned by apes to do research and develop new technology. Plankton's inventions merely harm. You only like Sandy because she's from Texas. Whoa, what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, Medic would rather been evil. <laughs> Which I can expect why, though. I mean, why? I mean, okay, there's two scientific branded geniuses. Of course, it had to go between one argue to another argue between from Texas and German. <laughs> Which I don't blame it, but I'm saying it's holy damn, this actually was another argue. <laughs> I mean, again, not talking about Spongebob or even Patrick at the point from Scout, Scout and Soldier, but now those two had started to big year. <laughs> Man, I would want to get that kind of popcorn and watch that fight go off right there. I mean, who's going to probably win? It's just not going to matter. <laughs> Which, I mean, again, I don't blame Sandy Cheeks because, I mean, most people always want to consider making the joke by saying it's like, hmm, Sandy's got these cheeks or got those cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I mean, I know most people say that, <laughs> you know, just to whatever, it's just for a funny joke by saying he's like, oh, God, just saying the funny joke out loud. <laughs> I mean, just the, the funniest joke ever. Seriously, whenever it's a joke, it's got to be a joke, which I mean, again, funny is funny. So can't break that up again. Cannot basically break, break that to it. Plankton's inventions merely harm. You only like Sandy because she's from Texas. Plus, both Plankton and Sandy cause problems, at least Plankton does it on purpose. But Sandy wreaks havoc amongst the residents of Bikini Bottom. Ooh. What the fuck are you talking about? What character doesn't do that shit? Plus, even when she does, she always fixes the issue. Or at least tries to. Plankton just stands the episode either being flung back to the chum bucket or being flattened under someone's shoe. He suffers every day, all of his plans are thwarted, yet he trudges on to the next day, never giving up and always coming back. You have to admire that kind of determination, plus he is funny too. Sandy is funny and not a prick. The only thing funny about Plankton, besides his first name, is how hard he fails. Patrick is funnier than both of them, and you call him dumb. Patrick is the most humorous character, even more so than the so-called genius. Who really is the dumb one? You are Wow, this was pretty bit of a good idea when Soldier stepped into that ring. Like, holy shit! I never expected him to even got it back in there before he came to give him a big slap to the face by Engineer and Medic. Wow. I mean, Soldier came up there and did it. Like, nice work, my guy. <laughs> Just nice work. Like, he says, like, 
Who do you think who calls me the dumb one? Damn, that was pretty basic, basic crud. I mean, basic crud there. I mean, basic crud. Damn, just really good. Boss, soldier, he isn't funny because of comedic genius, boss guy. He's funny because of his retardation at his own expense. It's like being laughed at and thinking you are a comedian. SpongeBob is actually good at making jokes on purpose. He was even a comedian at the Krusty Krab. What the fuck are you seppos arguing about? Oh, I'm trying to enjoy a nice cup of tea. These plebs like the dumb characters from Spongebob instead of the actually intelligent Sonic chicks. Not as intelligent as Plankton, no. Also, I'm not a seppo, Ned Kelly. All of you are fools. A simple Nick Billy. <laughs> I don't know why he said that, but I'm not sure he already said it. But, okay, at this point again, I'm really going to agree that Sniper's going to pick Sniper. Uh, I mean, I think I'm about to say that Sniper's going to agree to just pick pick Squidward, I think. I think he's going to probably pick Squidward. The best character is Squidward. Tentacles go. without any doubt. Or, he's or, the or, only or, believable or, fucker on the go. show. The only one that accurately depicts what it's like to go through the grind of life in an unfulfilling job. He's only relatable if you're a depressed incel who is a closeted homosexual. Yeah, I don't kind of don't blame Ivor pretty much with that. I don't kind of blame with um, the depressed part exactly. You know, I don't blame that exactly. I mean, hey, I mean... Haven't we all been there before? Because we sure know who and we have been for that. Of course, with depression. I mean, hey, I mean, sometimes I go with that a little and then, hey, it just comes right out and then just like flies away. After when that depression's gone, then it brings back the new person back. You know, just saying is like the smiling on their face, you know, just to bring that back after depression's over, then yeah. I can really simply agree from either that situation, which I don't blame Squidward's I pretty much personality either. Which, I mean, I have to say that Squidward could be a little bit pretty much a stupid person sometimes, pretty bit dumb. And also, uh, does pretty much dumb few mistakes after when Squidward does stupid crud, no for reason. But I don't blame my guy Patrick, however, it tries to ignore him that much, or pretty much annoys him. Seriously, Patrick is the funny guy, almost every time. Just to pretty much annoy Squibber by saying he's like, Hey Squibber, can I have a... Uh... Seriously, Squibber banged his fucking head on the cast register that hard after when he just didn't want to hear it. Yeah, because clearly you have to be a homosexual to be depressed and hate your job, right? You know, I thought Yanks were supposed to be progressive and accepting. Fuck you, I am not a Yankee. Plus, I am not saying being a homosexual is bad, but Squidward's frustrations come from a lack of self-acceptance and his conflicted feelings both sexually and generally. It's not that, it's that he's a fox-sniffing asshole who thinks he is better than everyone else with nothing to show for it. He's a sad and pathetic asshole who is good at nothing so he must tear others down. Have you considered that Squidward's misery is not internal but external? Have you considered that part of the reason he is miserable is because he lives next to two dipshit neighbors who constantly fuck with him and piss him off? His situation is comparable to how I feel whenever I have to deal with your guys' bullshit non-stop. Patrick and SpongeBob do not intentionally fuck with Squidward. They are just trying to be friends. From exactly! Thank you, soldier. Yes. That's what they've been trying to do this whole fucking time. Yes. That's what they've been doing the whole time. Just to consider that. Yep. That, that. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. From their perspective. But Squidward clearly communicates to them that he is not interested and he wants them to fuck off. They break personal boundaries regularly and are stupid to even realize what they have done. Patrick is obviously retarded, but SpongeBob is just a narcissistic prick who only thinks of himself. That is simply not true. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with Engineer. Yeah, kinda. I'm actually siding with that idea right there. I mean, nah, SpongeBob is not even narcissist. I mean, seriously, how did SpongeBob really think he would be narcissist at this point? I mean, imagine if SpongeBob would have been this narcissist to be that nutso. I mean, cuckoo, cuckoo. Like, how in the hell did anybody never want to explain that kind of question? I mean, again, narcissists are a little bit pretty much in a different way. Exactly. I mean, they're all about saying is me, 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 me. Almost every time they hear that word. I mean, again, I pretty much would have to agree with Engineer is that um, SpongeBob completely wouldn't be narcissist. I mean, imagine if SpongeBob would have been narcissist, 
Like, he wouldn't have been sharing friends with Patrick or anybody else. I mean, imagine if that SpongeBob was pretty bit obsessive to say that he would would be more uh, be more um, narcissist than anybody else around the time. So, yeah, that's just how I would explain my dynamics. SpongeBob is an empath and cares deeply about his friends. How many times has he tried to fix a situation for his friends' benefit? SpongeBob isn't perfect, but he definitely is pure of heart. Think of the time where SpongeBob saved Squidward's marching band and allowed him to own Squidward. There you go. See, and that's why SpongeBob is the best character. Well put, Sandy. But I'm not saying he's ever a spe best character. I mean, sorry, Scout. I'm saying that he's not the best. Like, I mean, he's not the best character to be argued for. But I mean, Patrick, my guy, is the best guy to be pretty much to be the best. So, yeah, I'm not saying I'm actually ever siding with Engineer or Sp or scout at this point i'm just saying i'm still siding with soldier for the last time so again i know i'm gonna keep explaining that but it's gonna have to be explained that for anyway he's all of those things but she's not a dumbass sandy has pride but she always swallows it to help her friends you got me there maybe spongebob is a narcissist but that does mean he is a dumbass turbo artist who cannot read social cues and that makes him practically as dumb as patrick plus squidward is truly intelligent in the movie he was the only one to catch on the plankton's plan z he may not be a scientist or inventor, but he is a well-informed and cultured individual. Yet that still didn't save him. He just thinks he is more intelligent with having nothing to show for it. He only is enough to arc like a smug brick. Plus he is a massive brick. He isn't even a good guy. At least Plankton accepts what he is. It's the funniest thing I keep hearing ever saying is like the P word so many times. It just gets like a lot of no reason by saying it's like, Bruh, that's so many times that I'm not even gonna ask. Like, that's just really many times I'm ever hearing. Like, I gotta say that, well, at least Sniper had one point co correction by saying that he was trying to catch up with Plankton for a few many times in the movie. Like, holy damn. I mean, I saw that before and I was like, no way did Squidward ever try to get caught up with Plankton toe to toe. Like, you know, in that movie, I mean, if y'all pretty much remember how that happened, yeah, Sniper was actually kind of almost a few times as being right for saying that he'll pretty much say that Squidward even got so way far to catch up with Plankton and try to get to his ass and even give him a slap and a slap to the face. Almost every time when Squidward would have done that, yo, he would have come out there and beat his ass right in that movie and totally would slam dunk his whole plans in the freaking sewer. Which seriously, it would. And doesn't just publicly complain about everything and wallow in self-pity. He complains and curses his condition on a daily basis inside of the chum bucket to his wife Karen. He literally complains non-stop and lays in a puddle of his own tears. He is probably worse than Squidward in that regard. At least Squidward has hobbies like music and art. Yes, but that's what computer wives are for. Wives are supposed to comfort and provide emotional support to their husbands. Yet Plankton doesn't do the same for her. He even cheats on her in one episode, and literally turns her off when it's convenient for him. He is a shit businessman, a shit husband, and a shit person. We just got back from drinking and hey, walking around go. in the dark, only to hear all of your sorry asses fighting over probably something stupid. Why are you guys yelling like special needs kids? Go. These preps think the shitty SpongeBob characters are the best ones. That's what you guys are arguing about at this time. You guys are all getting heated and yelling like babies because of a cartoon for kids that hasn't even been good for a, almost a decade. Yeah! Well, why didn't you say so? Obviously the best character is Karen, Plankton's computer wife. Are you serious? She's oh, practically a side character that rarely appears. That's because she is clearly too good. She is special. She can't be in every episode. Plus, she is the funniest character. And the only one who isn't a complete prick about it. She is an asshole about it though, bro. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, that's pretty based. For one absolute one time from Demo Man, he was pretty one time as based by saying, he's like, he, he would say that he would chose him Karen's wife, that was Plankton's wife. Like, oh my god. I have to say that he was right. I mean... Karen is not almost in every other episode, but I gotta give it to him, uh, one at least for something that pretty intelligent for one time at least, to say is like, that's just, okay, I mean, okay, I mean, I'll let that slide, I mean, I'll let that slide for one time, I'll say I'll let that slide, I mean, I gotta say, that's actually just interesting thing I ever know, is just to say is like, 
um, wasn't really pretty much like Karen's wife actually would have considered being more of an ass to Plankton. Seriously, I mean, it's just kind of funny after when those two dynamics of saying is like, husband cheater, wife cheater, like, bro, those are going to be really, really hilarious after so many of their nonsense <laughs> BS for so long. Like, seriously, Devil Man is right for one answer. Like, Karen cannot be in almost in every other damn episode, like, most of every time. She made fun of Plankton's first name, Sheldon, in front of all of his cousins. Plus, she is still a dick to Plankton and criticizes him harshly. Imagine if she was your wife. She'd constantly nag you about your drinking like your mom does. Plankton needs to hear it. He fails all the time. And though Karen's criticisms are sometimes harsh, they are the truth and come from a good place. Plus, Plankton treats Karen like shit too. What he said. Need I remind you all that he tried to cheat on his wife with Rekrams' mom? Exactly. Karen is a saint compared to Plankton, and despite all this abuse, she still does her best to support Plankton and his plans. Plankton may have book smarts, but Karen is clearly the wise one. No, no. I think you made some good points. But you seem to miss the fact that her wisdom and Plankton's ambition oh. and smarts fail every time. That is because Mr. Krabs is always one step ahead of them. Mr. Krabs is clearly the best character. Wait a second, Kami. While I agree with you on why Mr. Krabs is based, he is the second best character. How the fuck does a Kami like you like the greedy capitalist? Shouldn't you hate him? For fuck's sake! <laughs> I gotta really watch that video by that one. I seriously gotta watch it. <laughs> Man, well, I can side and both really agree from Soldier and Heavy. Shit. I mean, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Man, after hearing 829 minutes and 29 seconds during this goddamn clip, that actually just made me laugh for out of no reason. Like, shit. I mean, shit. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, this video is actually pretty good. Not gonna lie. I mean, during these other damn clips are just that good. Not gonna lie, I mean, nobody can't argue to say how it's still good, but it's just really good entertaining to watch. But seriously, oh my god, Heavy had chosen Mr. Krabs, the loyalty, greedy, crabby man of the business of Mr. Krabs of the, of the Krusty Krab. Oh, that, I want to hear this again, like, oh god, here we go, I mean... Here we fucking go. Does a commie like you like the greedy capitalist? Shouldn't you hate him? For fuck's sake, soldier! I am from the Soviet Union, but I hate communism. Also, I am a millionaire working as a mercenary for a private trillion dollar multinational corporation. How the fuck would I be working for Nanko if I was a communist? Also, it's a fucking kid's cartoon. <laughs> Soldier may be retarded, but he does have a few good points. How can you like someone so cheap and greedy? He isn't above stealing from people poorer than him. He's a cheapskate who screws over others for his own benefit. He will lie and manipulate to get his way. But Plankton is an evil asshole whose main goal is to steal from Mr. Krabs and profit off of that. How can you criticize Mr. Krabs for that? Plankton isn't a liar about it. True. Plankton will use deception, but Mr. Krabs is well aware of what Plankton is doing. And Plankton is pretty honest about it. He never denies it and regularly states it openly. Plankton may not be a good guy, but he at least isn't a liar. But Mr. Krabs is good-natured at heart. He is frugal because he runs a business. And he is not stupid. You need to be careful with money to run a successful business. Yeah, that's actually pretty true for a few similar reasons. I'd say is like, you know, sometimes I'm not interested in certain things and some what or not what else exactly. But I gotta say, yeah, the rivalry between Mr. Krabs and Plankton is the hilarious thing to watch almost every damn time. It gets funnier every time, but you know. Oh yeah, there has been so many times of rivalry between Mr. Krabs and Plankton, so many times, generally, almost every time, like every freaking time that it happens with that rivalry, with pretty much with Mr. Krabs and Plankton, 
Oh, goodness. That actually really caught my eye for almost a few times with that. But seriously, I mean, while I was pretty much doing this, by the way, while my eyes were even tired, oh, I laughed really pretty hard after that one. <laughs> Yeah, I really have missed all this pretty much good, um, this of exactly of us reactions. Seriously, pretty much. He is self-employed and lives in a small town. He can't afford to waste money since there will be no bailouts. He regularly teaches Spongebob and sometimes even Patrick. Important life lessons, the wisdom of an old man spreading to the youth. Remember the Hoots episode. That doesn't change the fact that he steals from and manipulates his employees for his own gain. He knows SpongeBob is naive, and he takes advantage of it. Mr. Krabs is a heavy flawed character, but he is a truly good person at heart. He may sometimes manipulate SpongeBob and Squidward, but keep in mind he pays both of them enough to have their own house and land. They are not impoverished. Plus, in the end, he chooses the welfare of his employees. He got SpongeBob back from the John Bucket. He even negotiated with Squidward when he went on strike. Of course you would mention that you, Kami. Don't forget that he sold SpongeBob for a few cents and he sold his own soul to SpongeBob after he missed a payday. He is the epitome of a greedy no good. Yeah, I gotta say pretty much with the the strike outside. Oh my god, I would remember that episode pretty crazily. I mean, I would remember that. Like, bruh, I so remember that episode after that happened. Between when Spongebob and Squidward were literally the only two who were going to go out there and say is like, making a strike against Eugene Krabs. Like, bruh, I mean, that was like pretty big, super um, creative, actually. It was actually pretty creative. I'd say it was like, no, way, really? I mean, a brother, you got to tell me and say is like, brother, are you for real like that? Like, are you that actually for real for that? Like, that's actually pretty funny. Whatever, like, you gotta think about it, because imagine two employees from, from pretty much, like, the, uh, pretty much from, you know, sometimes I'm going to always forget sometimes, or sometimes I won't forget. Oh, yeah, the Krusty Krab. There we go, Krusty Krab. Like, <laughs> that's actually pretty, actually pretty based in commonly. I mean, it's pretty common, but I wouldn't say it wasn't too common. It was just at the nearest common but saying is how interesting that would have been knowing too that bastard piece of shit motherfucker can't he may be a rich sheepskate but him selling his soul is just further evidence of his selflessness he served in the navy for years and is tough as nails even in his old age he could still beat most people's asses plus how can someone who sacrificed a civilian and comfortable life for the military be selfish he probably served his country and anyone who does that is worthy of praise there you go. Spies Gentlemen, and I see you are arguing about that kid's cartoon, SpongeBob. Spy, who is your favorite character? I bet it's someone stupid like Gary. Actually, that is your mother's favorite character. Oh! oh. <laughs> He's gotten destroyed. Yep, Spy wrecked him again. Bashed fully now. Man, Spy bashed him. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is why I love sticking with Spy. I mean, pretty much I have to say Spy had a good, pretty much good intelligent point that he was pretty intelligent. But, yeah, I think he was pretty intelligent to actually roast him on that one. I mean, I pretty much would have to agree with the guy who still s smokes exactly, which I would say that I'm not trying to say that kind of word, but I'm just saying that Spy actually had a good point of view, that he pretty much just passed him hard. Like, again, pretty much. I bet it's someone stupid like Gary. Actually, that is your mother's favorite character. Though we did not watch it in our free time, we would put it on for Scout and I saw enough. It's Patchy the Pirate and his parrot party. But he never shows up except on specials. Yes, and that's why he is also special. He is the only fucking character that is an actual human, and he is a completely obnoxious ass about it. Plus, pirates are cool. His parrot is funnier than any other character on the show. That's really cool. This is what we get for asking a boomer. But he never shows up except on specials. Because I have a good memory, prick. Plus, when he was on the screen, I'd actually stick around and watch it. He made it worth it. I gotta say that, I mean, 
So, I mean, Spy's not wrong. I mean, I agree with that. I mean, his favorite character is Patchy the Pirate. Oh, now that's cool, bruh. That is actually pretty based from him, exactly. I mean, that's actually really incredible based. I mean, that's pretty critical based. From pretty much however that Spy said was that he likes Patchy the Pirate. Okay, well, I gotta say pirates are pretty cool too, man. I mean, I agree. I mean, I like pirates. I mean, seriously. Some pirates, but not always much. I mean, I still like Foxy, though, but that still currently adds to the point with it. I mean, again, I know it's a little different and common, but okay. I mean, for Patchy the Pirate, oh, I love the fact that when Patchy was always that funny, to pretty much go on against with his own parrot, exactly. But the parrot was like, so this thing was like, Patchy! And he said, was like, whatever exactly he was going to say is, Patchy, someone's at the door for you! <laughs> Like, seriously, I love the fact when that bird talked in the beginning. For that once of a time, like, whoever voiced the patchy bird, oh, I, that person gets a medal of honor. Totally gets one hell of a, medal, a medal of an honor right there. And then as it for pretty much patchy, oh my god, I kept remembering so many times that he wants to see Spongebob, but couldn't see any other episodes while it continued to play, while he was watching, 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 watching on the same TV, as he pretty much always had pretty much expected to do. But saying is like, saying is like, saying is like, don't worry, patchy, we're pretty much going to see Spongebob going down into the pretty much of the bikini bottom. Which, I mean, I don't know how I got supposed to be doing his voice, but I'm just wanting to make that as an, an example and a demonstration or whatever, it, like a demonstration. Which, again, I'm just trying to say the word, which I was going to get near to the word, but, you know, just a demonstration. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, so that's why I want to make some points up exactly to see if any of you guys actually kind of agreed from what I had to say a few times. But, you know, there's a fair deal. Oh, here comes Pyro. Scout! Scout! Definitely Scout! Scout was saying how he hated Gary and wanted Spy to fry him in butter with some salt. Which I of course said no and asked him how he could consider such a disgusting thing. <laughs> well, fuck you guys! Now look- <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah. His ass got destroyed. <laughs> Seriously, this is why I really stayed with Soldier into the very end, almost like it fit 12 minutes and, seven, and 27 seconds. Man, good grief. Good actual grief. Look, buddy, I promise I didn't say those things. I love Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This video, I really liked it right there. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. <clears throat> well, I'm pretty much am going to say entirely of this video, it's just pretty funny. Now, how many points did I say were pretty funny? Is that, well, a few pointers in general was actually hilarious to the point, to the point by the way, is saying is like, hmm, okay, that actually really turned me on by saying is like, however they were going to argue about the Spongebob characters, but I got to say, not gonna lie, but it was actually pretty basically down to commonly. I mean, it was pretty much down to commonly, but yeah, that was actually pretty good. I mean, you can't tell me how many times it went from a brainer to pretty much another brainer and a different, uh, uh, different um, solution, perhaps. But I gotta say, it's just like, yeah, I mean, Soldier had some points. Bruh, I mean, if some of you guys had heard his points, like, holy damn, he gotten some points at a few similar times. But I gotta say, who won the argument is just Soldier. That's all I'm asking, it's just Soldier. I mean, even though I've not actually said that Soldier would have, like, completely bashed the whole thing, but he bashed it too good. He bashed it really good. So, I mean, I can always respect a guy from another person who likes Patrick. Or similar, who actually does like similar characters to mine exactly, which I'd say it's a fair common way to say is like, you know what, that's fair. I mean, that's actually completely commonly fair. That's just actually commonly fair with some intelligent and pretty much from common sense. Now, as I would say to perhaps to say is that like, man, these freaking good ones are just good slammers. You know, good slamming hits. Almost every time when that argument hits, it's just like, I gotta go on and watch my popcorn. And goes like, same as like, Now that's my tastiest popcorn. 
get your delicious popcorn and get your delicious soda because we're watching it. <laughs> Seriously, it would sound like that if I would have had that, but not really. It was just a joke. Seriously, I'm that funny. I'm really in that funny. Just to say how I would say that. But at the moment to the fact, everyone, <clears throat> is I hope you all enjoyed this video. Just be sure to give this video a like and comment, subscribe to the bell, be notified, and do not forget to subscribe to the original person, the original creator to support the original video, so that way that you guys will not miss a single video that comes on this channel, period. So with that being said, I hope you all enjoy this, and yeah. And I gotta say, what would I give the video on from 1 to scale of 10? Well, let's just say I'm going to give this 10 out of damn 10 since I'd say this was just 10 out of 10. And then as in from pretty much most of all of it exactly is just like, well said and well done from this entire video. Like, well freaking done, brother. Like, well done, brother. I mean, sometimes I'm not usually saying brother almost every time, you know, by saying by any reason. But that's completely fair and general stated, you know, just in general. That, you know, sometimes I don't go out and say it's like, how, what's it going on, brother? You know, sometimes. But, hey, I mean, if I get excited, then, hey, I'm just like, you know, just playing casual and just will get in to have some jokes with some people. Sometimes I just say, it's like, how's it going? How's it going on today or whatever? But that's all I'm just here for. It's just I'm a chill, common guy. Always pretty chill and common. But even if I have a different viewpoint, then sometimes I have to say, it's like, hey, it'd be my viewpoint, but you don't have to keep bashing it. That's just it. Now, Anyway, <clears throat> anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll get going right now. So thank you all very much for watching. And without that being said, who do you guys think who won this entire argument? And who think who actually won? If you guys actually kind of agreed that Soldier won, oh yeah, you are 100% awesome for voting for that. And then if anybody else decides not picking that, then that's commonly fair. I mean, I would respect that, but I'll still say it's like... You know, by watching a few recaps and to see what really actually happened where you have to pause and say is like, oh, we got to think about that by saying who was right to wrong or wrong to right exactly. But hey, those are two other stories that are actually just like two options. That's just optional. But, you know, we'll see. But for us and for right now, folks, is that my name is... Devin Foxy remastered, and I appreciate for all of that exactly. I appreciate for you guys enjoying this reaction and this really amazing reaction I had ever wanted to react to. But, you know, just wanted to see if you guys actually would like it. But now, as in for like I said before, is please be sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified. And, man, this video was actually pretty long before this would have ended in 45 seconds. You know, pretty much in 45 minutes to 46 minutes, which I don't know, which we're going to probably end it right now since we're going to get near to that time point. But as in for now, the timestamp, <clears throat> it'll pretty much be ended anyway. Now, with that being said, one more last time before we head off, by the way, please be sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. So that way that you guys will not miss a single video that comes onto this very channel. Anyways. That being said, I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Peace out. Sign out. And have a great, amazing day. Hope you guys enjoy it. And this brings you by to you, yours truly, me, Devin Foxy Remastered. And if you guys are a real true fan, real true fan, then I recommend you subscribe. And also, by the way, do not become a fake. No fakes will not be allowed or tolerated on my first channel or any separated channel that will pretty much be all so remember that will not be tolerated and just remember the rule that will pretty much be the exact same one as pretty much to the end of the video while it's been finished or done so remember no fakes allowed and if i catch anybody who's a fake get out just get out anyway I thought it being said hope you guys enjoy it and also if you guys want to become a true real Devin foxy fan who has guts true amazing guts then I recommend you subscribing or pretty much randomly subscribe. I mean, whatever matters to you guys. I mean, whatever matters. So thank you, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy it. Have an amazing, brilliant, amazing day. So thank you. Peace out. And we're going to get going. And I'll see you in the next time. Peace out. Sign out. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. And out of here.